Is that one ready? You don't waste any time, do you? Adrian, may I call you Adrian? I just don't believe in beating around the bush. Masturbation was the devil's typewriter. It wouldn't take people long to write one hell of a novel now, would it? Isaac went to fetch Aaron when he pulled up. Hey Aaron, how are you big boy? Well, you've got me for the hour. Let's get this show on the road. That's the usual 500 bucks up front. Crushed! Just breathe, Dad. Aaron has his needs too. Aaron doesn't need a call girl to satisfy his needs every month. It's not to say he's fighting tooth and nail to avoid this service. Isaac, don't be crass. I'm just saying, just because it's legal doesn't mean it's compulsory. Yeah, well this fancy Nancy might be integral to his physical needs, but it's not what he expressly asked for. I've given it a lot of thought. And I think it's time we told them. Not yet. I still have some work to do. He wants to be in a relationship. He needs to be cared for. Like any young person. Disabled or otherwise. She's the only outlet he has. Last chance Nance, one might say. I was like, I'm warning you. This far. And I'm not going to be around forever. I just want my boys to be happy. G H I J K L. It's far easier to strive for the L word once you get past the F word. They're only six letters apart. All right, Isaac. That is enough! It may have escaped your notice. Your brother isn't as fortunate as you. You're not profoundly deaf, you don't have cerebral palsy, and you could probably get yourself a girlfriend if you put your mind to it. You sure as fuck wouldn't lift a finger to be his full-time carer if I wasn't here. So I suggest you stop making him the punchline to all of your stupid insensitive jokes! Mr. Driscoll. It is no secret that Aaron has his limitations, and... We've discussed this. We both agree that the time has come to skip the F word and move to the L word, the L-O-V-E word. I love Aaron and I want to be a part of his life and all the responsibility that comes with it. I love you.